Hello, thanks for joining me today. We're drawing a Minecraft bee. If you have a splat, can grab one, might make it easier for you. The colour I'll choose is yellow today for a bee. Let's get started. We're going to draw a cube in three steps. That's one, two steps, and three. So there's my basic cube. Now we'll extend the cube roughly there. Let's tidy it up with the splat. Rotate it and put the point of the splat right there. Now we simply slide it in that direction until it comes to how far you want to extend your cube and trace around. And don't forget the center splat there. Cool, so that's how we extend a cube. On that point, slide down just a little and mark off. That's a gap and then a wide stripe a gap, and then another wide stripe. So these are the B stripes. From those points, line the um, point of the splat up and just keep tracing those off until you've got two gaps and two stripes. A little tidy up there. We're dividing that line into three sections. So two marks, and we'll need to drop those lines straight down. One, two. I'm looking at that front edge. I'm going to come up just a little bit from the bottom and down much further from the top. Now I'm drawing sideways lines. Let's call it the left splat from both of those points. That looks like a grid. I'm going to use that to mark out the eyes. Halfway along that little section, come down for the eye and then in that direction, we'll use the splat. Across. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Line one eye up with the other. Remember halfway in that section? Down. That also will be the dark part of the eye, so I'll be darkening that in later. Let's put the blue in now. I don't usually like to color too early because it'll just smudge. I'm outlining the eyes using a really sharp black pencil. Here's the left hand wing guys, so we're going to start at that point right there. We're going to line up the splat and draw the left splat line. Flip it upside down and line it up to that point. Remember keeping the splat always vertical and draw those two lines in. There's the start of your wing. He is rounding off, removing those sharp corners from the wings. Notice that's a big wide curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. I'm going to copy or extend that line in that direction. One whole splat length. Upside down, line it up to those two points. And one line to draw in. That one's already done. Great. Let's erase the lines we don't see. Rounding off the wings as the, we did on the other side. And a little tidy up, using a ruler for that. Let's draw some legs. Decide where you want the legs to come down and drop a vertical line. You decide how long. And here's where I'm planning the other leg. So from the bottom of the leg, Go back in the other splat direction and then up. Let's do the same thing at the back. From that point, go back on the splat angle and then straight up. Just a little shadow helps add to the 3D effect there. To finish off, we're going to draw some antennae just here. From the starting point, come forwards. And from the end of that line, drop down. Not so long there. And to return back, we use the same angle. I'm going to colour that in dark later. Let's draw the other side. Same thing. From that point, come out on your splat angle. Then we went down. And from the end of that line, we're returning back in. Great. Here's a speed up. You'll need to do some colour there. Be careful once you've added black, it's really easy to, uh, to smudge. Here I'm running the eye around the corner. 
on the other splat angle. I'm outlining the wings. Easier if you do the curves first and then line your ruler up to the curves to be a little bit more accurate. You could do that in blue texture. I thought I'd show you my rough version here. I always do a practice one before a tutorial. Now I've got the skills up, I can offset. That means to copy a line inside another one. So I'm offsetting that line all the way around and I'm aiming to make it look uh, kind of like a frame here. Here's yellow in the stripes and yellow for the head. This is a cutting line. It's really important to use a sharp pencil and a ruler and go neatly right around the outside of the drawing. That's your darkest line. Because I've got so much shading, I'm using a sheet of paper to stop my hand from smudging the drawing. It's a really good uh, thing to remember when your drawings start to get complicated and there's a high chance that you're going to do some smudging. Next comes the wings. To make the wings look really interesting, try to vary your colour or fade it. So I'm going from that back corner, it's dark, and lighter and lighter until I get to that front corner. Now we've finished the B, let's pick a starting point and draw a flower. I'm drawing just those two lines, then I flip, find your corners, and two more lines. So what I'm looking at is a flat square. Good. Now roughly in this direction I want to draw a petal, which will also be square. So I'm using two splat lines and I'm repeating the same thing again. Okay, let's go back to the middle and let's go out in the one direction and the other direction. So I'm starting from there Draw until it disappears underneath the B. I've only got one corner there to line up to now, so I draw that one in. So that's my two petals. Now, coming towards me, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Slide your splat towards you, one whole length. Two lines, upside down. Two lines except one's already drawn for you. Now the other direction, let's go away from you. Roughly in that direction, start the same. So I'm going to put the corner of the splat right there. And I've only got one line to draw there. Upside down. Boom. I could round the corners off like I did with the wings, but I think I'll put a mark halfway along each line and do a much bigger curve. It's called an arc when it's part of a circle. So find halfway along each of those lines and your curve starts and finishes on those two marks. And this one, halfway. That one goes right into the corner, and that one is a wider curve. So they're not exactly the same. There's two different kinds of curves make a half an isometric circle. Hidden by the B, we see just a hint of the curve in that spot. Let's draw a stem. I'm using an ellipse here to put a circle in the middle, and then it's time to add some colour. So we are finished. Thank you so much for drawing along with me. If you don't have a splat or your school doesn't, then you can get one. Go to www.splat3d.com. Thanks, guys. Look forward to seeing your work. Have fun drawing. Bye.